everyone or as afternoon right now good afternoon everyone and welcome to the training mode network if you are new to the training mode network we are a beginner and intermediate fighting game community we run tournaments nearly every night of the week uh soon to be in february every night of the week and community events on saturdays and today is our community event uh it's going to be a beginner h and k tournament um we've got five players so it's just going to be around robin um we the players we've got today we've got crispy monkey tazriel astro bloom draco dragon and we sports resort or just we sports resort is a fun little add-on uh i'm joined today on commentary by caleb hi caleb hello hello welcome everyone um if y'all don't know me i mostly play uh plus r i play a handful of different characters but uh, i do love me some hnk i'll tell you that Awesome. Yeah, HNK is a cool ass game. Let's get our first matchup here. We're gonna have Draco Dragon versus Astro Bloom. Let me tell All the other right. player that they can start. Uh, I know Draco <laughs> plays. Who's the guy? Uh, Draco, with... Draco. Draco plays Sauza. Uh, Astro Bloom. I do not know of. So I'll be, I'm curious to see who they play. And this is these are first to two, first to three. What are the yeah? We're doing the first seconds? twos. Okay, first of two. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I guess, let's see here. I can spectate or you can spectate. How, how's that going to work? We're both spectating. Oh, all right. Yeah, just go into the match <laughs> on Fightcade. Get it caught yeah. up. Thank you for the stri for the prime, D-Bus Co. I appreciate Yo, it. Yo, D-Bus? Yo, what's up, D-Bus? Let's go. Yeah. Old school, old school sounds up player. Let's go. So, okay. let's see, uh... If Draco Shit. can uphold the Sousa name. Oh, Shin player. Okay, honest HNK. Rare rare nowadays. Shin is a FKO character, right? Uh, yeah. He, 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 he's, his game plan is basically take stars and FKO. Uh, he has one dribble set up against most of the cast, but it's like very specific and actually really difficult to do. Okay. Which I don't honestly <laughs> expect to see. Damn, he uh, covered in bitches. I've yeah, never yeah, read this a, he, North he, Star, he's, so a, he's a king. Uh, yeah, he's a king. That's all it is. So, coming in on it, let's see. What's the round start? Oh, jump forward. All right, Boxeha, Boxeha pressure. Yeah, yeah, you can't contest Boxeha at that range. And Shin also, unfortunately, a little stubby on his normals, too. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice leap. 
What a leap over the Boxeja. So can you explain the, the mechanics to us? Of course, yeah. So, um, much like any other fighting game, you know, you've got your super meter at the bottom, but you'll notice that meter above it as well is, uh, it says boost, so it's like a boost meter. Um, basically what it does, uh, think of Roman Kansas with Guilty Gear and Drive Rush from Street Fighter Five or Street <laughs> Fighter Six. Yeah. But, like, instant. So it's like a, a Roman cancel that propels you forward with, uh, you know, really no delay in, in whatsoever. So there's there's that uh, that's kind of unique to this game. And um, above, like right below their health bar, you'll see these little uh, squares. Those represent the uh, seven stars of the Big Dipper. And in the lore of the game, when all of the stars are gone, you see the Death Star, which is just flashing on Shin right there. And now, if Shin gets opened up, he is susceptible to an instant kill, which. Oh, it looked like Draco was just about to go into, but he'll probably get it this time now that he's stunned. There you go. Nanto hoke no ogi. Tensho honjiho. Hell yeah. First fatal. We love to see it. Yeah, <laughs> There's and another and turn if, of it. If, Here's no, some no, more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Plenty more. Probably see a lot of Toki FKOs if there's a couple more Toki players. Uh, yeah, I know Taz is, plays Toki. I don't know who oh, else true. plays Toki. Very true. Alright, let's see. Astro gonna uh, pull it in. Maybe get a little uh, more openings and try to see if he can take a couple more stars. So I think uh, Draco ended his uh, first game there with like pretty much all stars. Uh, How do you it can be hard stars, to navigate. Just by getting hit? Yeah, you take away stars by getting hit by certain special moves. Uh, certain move properties when you launch someone with a uh, grave shoot, which is like a dust, I guess, like the dust of the game. Um, and with another move called Banishing Strike, which is uh, like a wall bounce. This fireball and, seems hard to get around. Yeah, Buxa is pretty annoying. It's kind of like a. Um, like a Kuma Air Fireball in the Street Fighter games, but not as good, because <laughs> you can't really do much uh, afterwards if you don't have boost, or if you do it too high uh, or too low. Actually, doing it low, TKing it, you can TK it super low, and it's really good pressure. The first hit, because it's two hits, actually, the first hit is an uh, overhead. Uh, oh, interesting. Yeah, <laughs> first hit is an overhead, but the second hit is like when the projectile actually comes out. Oh, wake up, winger. Okay, that's like winger super. Doesn't do that much damage, but it, it is an invincible reversal. And dang, Draco kind of clutching it back really close with that was a really close game there. Really close round. Wow, that one. That, that was actually a round. Usually, it's it's hard to tell in this game because rounds can either last two seconds or the entire <laughs> timer. <laughs> yeah. Which is oddly enough like 77 seconds. Uh, seven stars of the Hokuto, you know, it's, that's, Ooh, it's, it's like all, that. it, this, this game's lore inserts are insane. I'm Everything sure, is, like, lore adjacent. Yeah, I'm sure, uh, it's not actually seven second seconds. Okay, we got that. Let's go. Oh, it's definitely. Uh, there you go. And there you go, back-to-back -back fatals. Uh, Draco showing that he has been grinding, so, uh, I've, I've peeked in, uh, a few times trying to see his combos, and he's, he's, he kind of put it together. Really, really good showing from, uh, Draco. And Astro Bloom Shin, you know, maybe probably could have cooked if he had a couple more openings. I could I could see some cooks, some cooking going on. Yeah. Definitely seemed like bad. just trouble getting around that fireball, which, you know, understandable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Box Seha, if you don't really know how to deal with it, can kind of uh, steamroll uh, in some ways. Okay, are they done playing? Did they enter their scores? They did. Okay, yeah, let's, get, does look pretty let's get Crispy Monkey versus Tazriel. All right. That'll be good. Crispy Monkey, uh, fellow Rao bias incoming. So, that'll be sick. See if he can get some one-touches, and uh, see if Taz can also get some, some like, two hits into all-stars gone kind of thing. Because Toki, Toki does, like, what Shin does, but, like, way better. It just, by by a mar by an insane margin, takes away stars like it's, like it's candy from a baby. It's actually ridiculous. Really unfair character. <laughs> But that's the beauty. Every every character is unfair. In a game like this, pre uh, pre XX Guilty Gear Arxis, or actually no, it was like around the time I think XX came out. Um, this came out before, like shortly before the first Guilty Gear came out, right? Uh, this one came out I think in 05, so probably a little after. Yeah, 05. Yeah, so it was yeah. it was around the XX time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why you see a lot of borrowed uh, decisions from Arx's stuff and between the games. Okay, so we got 
Rao fan 420. Let's go. Tazrel the Toki. Okay, starting off with some zoning. Rao's air fireball, you know, can be pretty good, but it's pretty committal. He can't actually do anything on the way down. Uh, so it's pretty risky to do. You can Tiger Nia very low to the ground, uh, but kind of not too big of a use of it when Toki can just teleport through on the other side of you. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of which, Toki having, uh, those that don't know, uh, one frame of recovery on his teleport that you can cancel anything into. So you can theoretically cancel it into another teleport. So with that, his pressure in left-right becomes insane. And look at that, see? Like, take takes away stars like it ain't no one's business. Ridiculous. Okay. Crispy Monkey got the confirm. This could be very well the end of the game, or the end of the round. If he doesn't drop it, oh, the accidental cross-up is what it looked like there. That's unfortunate. Okay, nice guard cancel. Get him off of me. Yeah. Oh, Rao not with the traditional backdash. He has a sidestep instead because uh, kings don't back away. Awesome. Great uh, character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, the lore inserts are so crazy. I feel like they do that with like every like licensed game they make. Like they don't, they hold like Arx is holding. Yeah, they no know. Oh, oh. Round start, Muso. Okay, so for those that don't know, that was actually ridiculous. Um, yeah. That little icon right above, uh, or right below, or right above the boost that uh, Raul has. Oh, another drop fatal. Um, he, so that basically gives him a third strike parry. Uh, but <laughs> instead of like getting, instead of doing a parry, he gets to teleport behind you. Oh well. And oh, that's we get our first Ojo Hagankin of the day. Our first Ojo Hagankin. Here we go. I gotta do my due diligence in the chat. Oh, damn it. Where's my... I gotta get my... I gotta post... Post your uh, Ujo Hagankens. <laughs> Alright, so... You know, uh, Togi definitely takes the cake as far as the best character in the game. Yeah. Um, Just got kind of got everything. He really does. Yeah, that yeah. move is really ignorant. Uh, 2D is a really ignorant move. The Concho, as some people call it. <laughs> we were talking about his 2A the other day, and then we were like, this is the first um, disjointed disjoint. <laughs> <laughs> no jointed, no, we were the, it's the first jointed disjoint. The first jointed disjoint. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's got a hitbox, like a hurtbox inside yeah, his hand. Yeah, inside of the hand, but, it's but not the entire the covering of the, of the hand is not the rest of the yeah. body. It's so ridiculous. They took their uh, sweet and tender care with uh, Toki's hitboxes and hurtboxes, <laughs> and then they just gave uh, Kenshiro big ol' squares. Okay, I'll try to take a few more stars, but nice guard cancel, get him off me. Oh, meaty low, can't jump out of that, looked like that was a jump attempt. But, oh man, monkey with no resources, that's kind of scary, because yep, there you go, round start boost 2A. The classic. You got. You get. Spend it if you got it. You know. Sekako. Oh, nice IB, but oh, unfortunately you can't punch that. You got to buffer Muso or something. And one more mix, and it's over. Nice Muso. Oh, but it doesn't matter because he's mashing 2A because it's one of the best buttons in the game on one of the best characters in the game. All the stars are gone. He's got the Sekako power up. Elo. Okay. Now, Monkey's got some meter, so he's really got to spend some of it if he wants to maintain this lead. In in rounds, at least, you know. One more opening could do it for, for Taz to even things up. Dude, right, nice your, escape do from the corner. Your stars carry over between... Oh, wow. Your stars carry over between rounds? Uh, you gain you gain one star back every round. Okay. Only one. <laughs> oh, nice. Tick throw boost pressure. All but boost too soon and gets cross up close D instead of normal close D. Yeah, boost uh, behaves really weird sometimes. Yeah, and so if you've only like like heard about this game through like just people talking about how stupid it is, um, you the the combos that do the basketball combos like the the main like thing people reference about this game are really hard combos in this game. It's are ridiculous. Super hard. Oh, and then there you go. Got your Ujo Hagankin. Back to back. That'll do it. Tez takes it 2-0. Toki won five hits ago, so true. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. He, 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 uh, in an in optimal Toki, uh, you're probably dead every time you're opened up. But you know, no, uh, 
Monkey definitely not a slouch. We've played a couple games before, and uh, he he can do uh, the route traveling infinite. So it's uh, it has been seen. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've gotten. I've experienced it. So uh, no slouch, but definitely Toki being such a strong character kind of uh, lends itself to <laughs> to the rest of the game being the way it is. Okay, so we're gonna have both this round. If you could tune into Astro Bloom versus Wii Sports. Oh, running this one too. Sick. Yeah, there has to be one round where I have both. So, so uh, uh, Wii Sports is pretty new. Um, today we were playing, and he was like, <laughs> they asked, "Who's the easiest character?" Oh, <laughs> but then all they right. ended and up then... going with the character they like, Rao, anyway. Yeah, okay, so they picked literally the hardest character. You yeah. were asking who the easiest character was. They were like, I'm not learning Kinshiro stuff in like 30 minutes, so okay, let's see. Nice. Alright, Astro Boom. Coming in, jumping in. And this game has a lot of whiff nice. cancels, right? Yeah, so you can whiff cancel Gatlings in this game, like ABCD, and, or whatever uh, Gatling string uh, characters have. Mm -hmm. uh, you can whiff cancel the recovery into like that same string, on as if it were on hit. So uh -huh. that kind of is uh, enforces a lot of neutral, that is uh, like kind of whiff button heavy at certain ranges to try and catch like approaches in some way. Ooh, rising show, that's a power geyser if you're a KOF player. <laughs> it does oh. look like power geyser. It's yeah, it's pretty much the same. Okay. Oh, we got Muso. All right. Now we're playing third strike. Oh. Rapid jabs. Oh, nice Muso! Raishin Show again. Catches the jump in. Shin. Oh, I need to see uh, Astro Bloom enforce more command grab, Nick. Shin has a command grab that's actually quite good. Yeah, in the corner, it leads. Uh, it takes a star. It's one of the moves that takes a star, so definitely a, a mix up to enforce. And I'm gonna clutch. Oh, rapid hands. Timer running out. Yeah, I like the yeah, decision. I like Astro Bloom recognizing Astro that they got the, the life lead. They don't need to. Yeah, enforce the amount of, right there. Yeah, the timer is a little. Uh, uh, it, you can definitely tell. Sometimes you can't because it seems like it's longer than it is, but it actually isn't. The the 22 fewer seconds that you would get in a 99 second game, yeah, they they get noticeable pretty quickly. <laughs> Pressure. To be a really good button uh, to press with Brown. More leap pressure, right? Oh. Okay, boost pressure in the corner, leap to keep uh, esports in the corner. Charge bounty. Oh, oh, this is the follow up there. You can get a, a like a, a homing jump follow up off of that. Oh, just like that there. Dun 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 dun. Oh, this is the link. That's a tough link. It's a two frame link. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Raishin show. Okay, if there's one opening, you can convert into fatal. Shin's Fatal, one of the coolest, I think. He just pokes you, it's so cool. Yeah, he, it's it's uh, the, it's just like the first episode of, <laughs> of the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Crazy pressure, run up charge. Oh, nice block! Nice challenge. Oh, we're mashing. Yeah! Push it back. Nice Muso, that was ridiculous! <laughs> Oh, got to steal back the health. Oh, Raishin Show! That'll take it. Wow. Astro Bloom running away with that. And I guess, you know, Wii Sports maybe not having too much time to, to really lab some stuff out, but knowing how to use Muso is important, so, you know, good on, good on them for sure. Definitely. And, oh, another thing to mention, so, uh, you may notice below Rao's health bar, there was also a guard bar. There are weight classes in this game. So, Shin is one of the heavy weight classes, which is weird because you would think Rao would be heavy. <laughs> I yeah. guess that's, he, he is, I, I, my guess is that Shin bears the weight of a king on his shoulders, so he has to be a heavy class. That's, that's, that's my <laughs> logic behind that. But Shin and Mr. Hart, I think, are the heaviest, and then it's uh, Mamiya and Sauza at the the lightest, and um, everyone else in between. And d your weight class um, determine. I can't remember exactly what it determines. Just your just if you um... whether or not you have a guard bar or not. Yeah, that's all it does. Okay. 
And you can't, yeah, <laughs> and so really you can't get guard. it's really bad to be light this game, right? Uh, kinda. It, uh, there, there's, there's some, like, there, I mean, there's not really anything good about it, but because there's a, like, a guard cancel, you can... Uh, okay. Get you, you just spend resources to have them get off of you. There's it's not like you can get jailed if you don't have meter to guard cancel. Uh, it's one of those things. Oh. Yep, your decision of running back can't deal enough damage to take it, and you know sometimes you just got to play the clock. The clock is a resource, so good recognition. Really easy to tell when the announcer is yelling the, the <laughs> countdown from you. He does yell. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard to ignore that. <laughs> oh, oh, drops the leap. Confirm. Rapid jabs into the corner, but accidental follow up. Raishin show. Nice block. No punish. Oh, boost two B. Yeah, Shin's two B. A really good move as well. Low profiles. Kind of like Axel two K. Yeah. It, it kind of yeah. looks like a um, like a like it can low profile jump ins like in KOF. <laughs> it can. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's happened several times. I've I've seen it. It's it's definitely a thing, but definitely neutral buttons. Uh, also a good thing to whiff under and counter poke. Yeah. Oh, no punish on the Raishin show. Had a bar boost there. Oh, misses the heavy strike. Oh, that's oh, man. that move is cool too. Okay, meaty Bonnie. If you block Bonnie, you get sent back on the wall. Okay. Oh yeah. Raishin show with punch. One Look, more oh, to land kill. I figured that oh, out. Oh, oh, boost cross up in the corner. That was crazy. <laughs> that happened so fast. Yeah, boost can uh, happen at like a moment's notice, which is crazy. Yeah, it, it's a really fast move. Okay, so that finishes out that round. So next, yeah, good stuff. The Astro do. Bloom showing their stuff, getting a chance to. So this is one of those games where just sometimes you don't even get a chance to show what you can do because you just get oppressed. <laughs> That's the beauty of this game. Everyone needs to play this game at least once in their lifetime. You may not like it, but you at least need to experience it. All of a sudden, it does. It won't feel bad getting locked down by Testament uh, <laughs> and Plus R for like thirty seconds. I'm waiting. Next, we're gonna have Draco Dragon to Resports. Okay. Sick. Traditionally, uh, not too good matchup for Sauza, but, you know, Resports. Uh, maybe you'll still a little green around the gills as far as uh, experience goes. Draco been grinding pretty hard, so. Mm -hmm. I'll be looking looking forward to seeing what kind of mix. Uh, Sauza is like the mix king too. He's he's got some crazy fake side swap stuff and interesting hurt box properties on crouching Rao and Heart is that you can get crossed up in the corner and your opponent will land same side to put you back in the corner. Just yeah, very very odd hurt box interactions happen uh, between uh, Rao and Mister Heart when they're crouch blocking. A lot of jank nuances in this game. Has this started for you? Uh, it has not. I'm yeah. still buffering. Let's just wait a little bit, see if they say anything. Take a sip of water. Hydration check, by the way. Definitely so true. Drink what do you take a sip? Hydrate. Take a sip, babes. It's good for you, I promise. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get in there again. There we go, I'm in. It just uh, oh, exit out and then come back in, yeah. Okay, sweet. All right. Letting the intros rock. This oh, this game. song. This game's <laughs> like art direction is so good. It's it's so over the top. <laughs> Comes off the bike. Look at that thrown on that bike. That's crazy. It's like a. It's also like, like a, a tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's like a, a Mad Max tricycle. Yeah. Okay. Jump back box A, huh? Oh yeah, jump and jump B. Jump B. Air, air dash properties in this game are really weird. Because uh, as soon as you press a button, you plummet. So everyone basically has a it's like dive kick. Heads. Yeah, oh, and it's an overhead you. dive kick type move. Yeah. yeah. It's the way that it propels people. It, it acts kind of like a dive kick. Ooh, Ned's getting out of the corner there. Okay, box A, huh? Neutral, good neutral. All pressure, block the overhead. No, oh, that's overhead. You gotta block that. And then the mix up now that they have boost is they're gonna go low. Oh, buffer Muso out of that, but that's punishable. Drops the boost confirm. Jump by B. Yeah, there are instant blocks in this game. Uh, kind of a tight uh, link to do, and you also can't uh, do instant blocking if you're already in a block string. Ah, uh, so, you so have if, to if intentionally... you didn't start with an instant block, you can't exactly. block? Okay, that exactly. makes sense. Oh, no, the instant box say hug, it opened up. Rao and Mr. Hart, because of a bug in the game, have eight frames to switch block from crouching to standing. Interesting. Yeah. It's uh, unfortunate against characters like <laughs> Salza. Because once they get them locked down, it's, yeah, oh, that's so ridiculous. It's basically impossible to fuzzy block. Oh, empty low. Got a boost confirm. Into fatal, yep. I like the way they walk up to you to do their win pose. <laughs> dead ass body. What a chat, yeah. Let the the post game timer run even more. Okay, let's see what we sports uh, try to get some opening up. There's some good neutral being played. Uh, good awareness against the box they has, but once you're locked down by one, it's kind of hard to get out without like spending resources in some way. I would say Rao should also try to fireball back, but <laughs> his fireball's not very good. Oh, TK Boxeha is so good. Oh, oh I missed the Boxeha, but still lands and falls with one with Oki. Sometimes Esports really got to make their block, way out the They block so, like, proudly that it looks like they're, like, yeah. burying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sauza, he's, uh... His, I think in the, the story he's known as like having impenetrable defense, mm -hmm. which is ironic because in the game he has a guard bar. He's he's of the lightest weight class, but he blocks with his chest <laughs> because he's has the impenetrable defense. Like it's, it's yeah, it looks like a parry. I'm always like, bro, parry. Yeah. He has a parry. He's just, just blocking. <laughs> he blocks with his chest. Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. Okay, delay delay breakup pressure. Dun 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 dun, opened up. Oh yeah, you can tech that as well, that's right. I think other characters can tech it too. Okay, fireball war. Okay, you actually want to engage in the fireball war. TK Buxeha opens him up. Oh, Tobe? Oh, missed it. I got a guard cancel, get out of there. You have What boost. does this do? This is install do. Oh, install is a speed up. Oh yeah. Install, speed install is crazy. The super dashes. Yeah, some some uh, some people may know uh, Doctor Stormlock as being an insane Robokai player, uh -huh. but he also plays Sauza in this game, and because of the install mode, as you might imagine, he's a big fan of Overclock, and he, he treats uh, <laughs> speed up as Overclock, which is pretty cool. All right, well, uh, Draco taking that one pretty convincingly. Yeah, sure. Next up, I guess we're gonna get uh, and Draco, Draco Dragon. Yeah, versus Pussy Monkey. Nice. Wanna? I need. I need. I need Monkey to hit the hit the travel. I need him to do it. And I, uh, Monkey has played against uh, Draco several times already too, so he might be more comfortable with the player matchup yeah. that way too. Mhm. Mm Y'all are on stream. I change stream matches. Okay, this is round four. I need to put round four on. Oh, 
All right. Let's get to it now. Draco's playing. Still warm from the last game in the matchup, though, so we'll see how, how he approaches it. The time of retribution, so true. Time of retribution. Decide the destiny. <laughs> Okay, got a stock up. Those stocks on Rao, uh, for those that don't know, they, they enhance his special moves, uh, certain ones. And they tend to take an extra star as well, so in neutral, if you have a chance to get one off before they get boost or something, just do it. Oh, there you go. Got the confirm. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's so difficult to do. So you can't boost if you're holding back because instead, when you press the boost button and hold back, you do like this game's version of faultless defense, mm -hmm. which is aura guard. And that input that uh, Tiger Knee Psy, uh not only has a height restriction that you can that you have to do it at, but it uh, is a quarter circle back input. Oh, so you can't do the boost out of it. Yeah, okay. you have to you have to go back to neutral or like hit some forward direction after like buffering the input. So to, you do like two one four six. Yeah, okay. yeah, or like two, one, four, five, and have it buffer in time or something. Yeah, that's extremely uh, difficult. Yeah, this game's gotta, input buffer. Oh yeah, it, this game, this game's input buffer is like almost too generous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speed install kind of resetting neutral there a little bit. I uh uh oh it drops the side. You can get a, a an extra star off of that combo with uh, against Salza, but unfortunately monkey dropping it. Taking the time in neutral to uh, build a card, that's good, because nothing that Salsa has can punish it immediately. Oh, guard crush incoming. Oh, nice guard. Uh, the guard crash canceled to get out of the guard crush situation. Oh, still going to happen, though. And Monkey's got boost to spare. Take the extra star. Is he going to fatal? Put the hands on him. Yes. Welcome to Duff City. Ah. <sighs> Put the smack down. Imagine getting, imagine getting punched so hard, uh, like a nuke goes off and. and <laughs> <laughs> I love getting punched. <laughs> it's it's like I love characters who just like their super is them punching you really. It's hard. literally just punching them and then it's like they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> the time of retribution. Oh, Potemkin did it better. I don't know about that. I think that's this is where he got it from. <laughs> Okay, corner pressure coming in clutch. So that red hey, is like Orient. the ball's defense, it pushes them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it uh, that's like uh, aura guard when it's uh, when you're holding it down, and then it turns green when you get a successful uh, aura guard. Okay. Cool. One thing I also recently learned, I'm still learning things about this game, is that if you get opened up and you're like already holding it, you have to press like back or down back and the boost button again in order to re aura guard. You can't just like hold it like FD and always get it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. There's so much be going on. Yeah, there. you gotta be intentional with it. I don't know if like the way it was programmed was intentional. Oh, oh my Shinkitsu god. Got the cape super. That's a really cool one. Shinkitsu. Okay. Grounded box, say, huh? 2B, jump B, jump B. Nice guard cancel. All Draco with the boost advantage, but not really getting a chance to do anything with it. Gets opened up low, but oh, Monkey drops a combo. Okay. Oh, I looked like he baited something there. Ay, ay, ay. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, drops the link. So difficult. In a game with no buffer, <laughs> two frame links are kind of hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a true two frame. Oh. Yeah. Oh, nice guard cancel. One more. Oh, and that'll do it. Yeah. He takes it. I see. Solid pressure. Uh, really showing uh, why that matchup is not too good uh, for <laughs> for Salza. Just mashing, 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 and guard breaking, guard breaking.
Okay, so I don't know how Draco ended up on stream every single time, but you know, <laughs> life is life. You gotta gotta okay. show the it's the, gonna be the world. him versus Taz awesome. next. All right. And I think Taz is sitting. This is the last round of the tournament, so I think Taz is sitting at uh, first right now. Yeah. All right, showing the true power of Toki. No stranger. I'm de I'm definitely no stranger to watching Toki mirrors uh, <laughs> over and over and over with all of the the Japanese arcade footage. <laughs> uh, that that is like ninety percent of Japanese arcade. Footage. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. But in the, on the rare chance that you'll end up seeing another character, it's usually they're godlike with them. So it's it's also a treat. <laughs> the time of retribution. Battle one. Decide the destiny. This game is really hard. Don't feel bad, Lee. Yeah, no, yeah. This this game is probably the hardest game I've like ever tried to learn ever. I I I I. All right, get something started. Box a hot pressure. Oh, nice Toki, match. Uh, On that. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Toki has a tool to deal with literally everything in the game. <laughs> he has a uh, a high counter, a low counter, and a projectile counter. That has armor on it for some reason. Okay, uh, but Bakseha combos in the air like that are really easy on Toki. And oh yeah, Draco coming coming in clean on this one, taking way more stars. All right, that's a ne the next round may just be a one touch. Oh, all oh, the stand B to catch the boost in was genius. Oh, tried to get the god button 2c to counter the oh my god he can bait yeah. dark cancel like that yeah teleport is insane that move is so juiced dun 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 uh oh nice guard cancel i've been meaning to read the manga yeah, the manga is sick. I've uh, they've been recently doing uh, uh, reprints on hardcovers. Yeah, I've been I collecting had some them of those, and then I ended up selling them just because I needed money. But they're, they're oh, like a I really should... nice version of it. Yeah, yeah, they've got like semi-colored pages in there too. They're pretty nice. I like when Viz does their like, like the the they the same. They did like a similar version for uh, for Metal Optimus. Like the hardcovers oh, with the with the really nice pages and stuff. Hell yeah. Yeah. One more opening is all that Draco needs, and wow, Draco taking the first game against uh, Taz. Also another known bad matchup because of the, having a guard bar against Toki. Because theoretically, because of Toki's teleports being as busted as they are with the one frame, you know, recovery to be able to mash into something else, you could just loop two A's forever. If they're true block strings, you could just keep looping it. If you don't have meter guard cancel, you get guard crush, and then it's dead, and then you're dead. <laughs> One of the fabled 8-2 matchups of the game, probably. But... Hey, Ryer. Nice. TK Boxeha. Oh, TK Boxeha. That stomp normal is funny Space as hell. Yeah, that's his, that's his grave shoot. That's his launcher. It's plus on block. Amazing. Okay, yeah, meaty pressure. You cannot do anything about that. You had to frame wake up counter. Ay, wow, and already Draco taking all the stars. I don't know if Taz knows what to do against <laughs> the pressure. Okay, all oh, boost 2B round starts. This could be it. Boost confirmed into fatal? Got it. Oh, I dropped the fatal. Nar. Oh, wait, no, he, he didn't get the star until the second. Oh, there you go. Now, oh, Taz was about to run his game, but. Start cancel the reset neutral. Oh, the anti air spear does takes too long to start up. Oh, it's just one touch. It's always so tense when it's a one touch like this. Any any hit could do it. Nice guard cancel. Now Taz in the corner. No escape. Uh uh. Is he gonna attack out of it? No, he doesn't. Get opened up. TK box say, huh? No confirm. Man, no one wants to hold anything. Baiting the guard cancel. Yep. Oh, this confirm could do it. Boost, boom, boom, boom. Damn, wow, Draco. Wow, you know, would you look at that? And Draco showing this 8-2 matchup. Uh, the two out of the eight. <laughs> the two games out of the eight <laughs> the two, that you need. The two. Is the two out of the eight that you need. There you go. Sometimes awesome. it just works out that way.
I've seen heart players beat Toki before. I've seen heart players beat Yuta before. It's actually crazy. Yeah, let's see what the final score is. Yeah, that's. I'm, I'm curious as well. That may. Oh, three way tie. Three way tie for first. Wow, look at that. I just based well, actually, on Taz gets first one. because Taz beat Monkey, so he has six points. Oh, three. true, true, true. Yeah, yeah. by points. And then Monkey gets second with 3-1, but there are tied for third with Crispy, Monkey, and Draco having tied points right here. So, tied for third and then Astro Bloom in fourth. Good shit, y'all. Uh, thank you for joining us. Like, even if it takes, like, it's really quick and stuff, it's still really fun. And I'm glad that people come out for these. Um, yeah, definitely. The exposure uh, to what this game is capable of to, to the masses is always appreciated. Yeah, yeah. I, I think... Um, the, these Saturday events are always really fun, but I definitely like doing like the fight kid games and stuff because it's always um it's always fun to show off games that you know we're not gonna run regularly, but it's still really um yeah. fun to watch and spectate and learn Absolutely. maybe learn to play. Ty for playing, y'all. Yeah, um, it was a good showing. Yeah, let's fight. Who should we raid? Quick fifty minute stream, so fun. I love it. <laughs> Let's Sometimes see. it's all you need. <laughs> well, congrats to Taz for first. To showing yeah, the power. Very to well me. done. Now I need the uh what is it? The what do they call it? Like the like the Ghost of Marvel finals. <laughs> where now 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 that you've beaten uh everyone here, now you have to face the, the real final boss. <laughs> <laughs> if you do Neo Turf I should do Neo Turf Batters. That would be so fun. <laughs> that would be I so would sick. I was planning, um, we did Neo Turf Masters for when we used to do the exhibitions, and that shit went, like, final, final. It was so oh, good. Wow. Yeah, it was so good. All the way down to the wire. That's mm. awesome. That's so much fun when a game like, uh, a silly game like that happens. Everyone that was at, so at locals, hyped. Yeah, locals yesterday, uh, I like to do mystery games, a single limb first to one, and the game last time was Among Us Arena Ultimate. Game rules. Yeah, the game is so sick. They played casuals until the place closed, like, after it finished. It was so awesome. sick. Was well, so I'm, gonna, sick to I'm gonna raid Tampa Never Sleeps, because they're running a Sam Show 2019 tournament right now, and that game... Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. That game is fun, too. Definitely give, have a chance yeah. to play that game if you, if you get. Yeah, well, um, I was also thinking about running a 100% orange juice event. I don't know oh, how God. it would work, but that game is so fun. <laughs> I, I'll that figure game would ruin friendship. Yeah, have a good day, y'all. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Yeah, y'all take care. Thank you.